Hello reception. Thank you for your lovely sentences yesterday and well done for answering those questions. You did a great job. Today we are going to continue reading our book and we're going to start with the page called Growing Flowers. So listen carefully. You can follow along with me if you want to. Growing Flowers. It is spring and it is getting warmer. This is the time when many plants begin to grow flowers. Most oak trees first grow flowers when they are about 20 years old. They grow flowers every year for the next 70 years or more. An oak tree has two types of flowers. So we've got female flowers are tiny and they grow near the top of the oak tree's crown. So these are the female flowers. Open this up. You can see this page in the middle is a bit tricky. If you see it there, you can see the flowers all together. And this is a picture of the male part of the flower. And I'll read to you what it says. It says male flowers are called catkins. Each catkin has a long stem with many small flowers growing on it. So these are the catkins. I'll leave this over here. You can see it. You can see the picture. It's a bit tricky with the light actually. There we go. And that's the word catkins. Quite an easy one for you to sound out. And then we've got another label here, which is the pollen grains. The male flowers make a yellow dust called pollen. And then we're going to move on to the next page, which is titled How Acorns Grow. So, it is a windy day and the wind blows the pollen off the catkins. The pollen is carried by the wind. Some pollen lands on female flowers. There are eggs growing inside the flowers. The pollen grows down until it reaches an egg. The pollen joins with the egg and this is called fertilisation. I know there's lots of tricky words in this, but just go with it. So what happens is that the pollen joins with the egg and the eggs in the female part of the flower. And once it's joined, it's called fertilisation. When an egg is fertilised, it can grow into a seed, which is safe inside an acorn. The acorn is small, but it will grow in the summer and ripen. You can see the picture of it, it's just here. There we go, that's better. And these are the pollen grains at the bottom, sprinkling around. The female flowers are growing into acorns. You see them there? And they open up. And this acorn has started to turn brown. These are the female flowers which are growing into acorns. So what I'm going to do is give you some questions again for you to answer. Because you did such a good job yesterday, I'm going to give you a few. So I've got one question on my board. So I'm going to show you how to answer my first question. Can you help me read the question? What does this word say? It's one of your tricky words. What is a catkin? Can you remember what a catkin is? Okay. Tell me. A catkin is the male part of the, uh, the flower. Sorry, it's getting more comfortable. It's a male part of the flower. So I'm going to write that in a sentence. And I'm going to remember to start with a capital letter. So I'm going to start saying, a catkin is the male part of the flower. So that, how many words is that? Okay, how many words is that? Nine words. Start with a capital T. So the T H E spells the the catkin, which starts with a capital C. At in and I'm trying to look, make sure that my letters sit on the line. So if you don't have lined paper, then can you get a ruler and draw some straight lines? Sit your letters on two. The catkin 
is the, again, T-H-E, the male, a spatisa, a, or male, part, are, part of, O, F, spells of, of, the, T, H, E, spells the, it is the male part of the flower. Or, Let me want to extend that sentence. I can describe it. So if I were to try and look back at the book, I'll try and look back at the book. It did say male flowers are called catkins. Each catkin has a long stem with the many small flowers growing on it. So this is the catkin. I can say something about it, couldn't I? I can say the catkin is the male part of the flower with long with a long stem, or which has a long stem. Or you could say something else about the catkin. Maybe you could say um, it has a catkin is the male part of the flower which has many flowers growing on it. You can think of something extra to challenge yourself to write about the catkin. I'm going to end my sentence there. What do I need to use to end my sentence? A full stop. There we go. So I am going to put about three or four questions on the Google Classroom uh, along with this video and I would like you I want you to answer those questions in four sentences just like you have been. You've done a great job so far reception. I look forward to seeing your great learning.